It's Late Night in the Afternoon, where the late night hosts get their jokes. Oh, gorgeous. Welcome back to Late Night in the Afternoon. Woo! Let's get Woo-hoo! started. Yeah. You know, for a second time in a week, pirates have suffered heavy losses on the high seas. Oh, yeah. geez. And this has made front page news across the world, except in Pittsburgh, where people are used to seeing pirates consistently lose. <laughs> <laughs> boom! Boom! <laughs> Take that, Pittsburgh. Rumors are flying that President Obama has been dyeing his hair. Hmm, yeah, that's important. Historians news. are quick to point out that his hair was only half white. Been <laughs> <laughs> born in Kenya. <laughs> An American Airlines passenger found his path to the bathroom blocked by a beverage cart. Hmm. Yeah. In response, he repeatedly kicked and knocked over the cart. Ooh. And then punched a flight attendant. Yeah. Yeah. American Airlines immediately responded by asking him to join their staff. <laughs> <laughs> Regis Philbin announced he's retiring after networking executives tried to force him to take a pay cut. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. No word on a replacement, but rumor has it. The network would like to get someone younger, like Don Rickles. <laughs> Take that, hockey puck. Oh. <laughs> An audio to get my, my stomach, really. I don't know what that noise is. <laughs> Can't stop your penis from crying. <laughs> An audio tape with a voice claiming to be Osama bin Laden warns France to pull out of Afghanistan. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's what the transcript is saying, as French government officials were unable to locate anyone with a boombox so they could play the audio tape. <laughs> Someone lend him a Walkman. Kiss that Walkman. Kiss because it'd be sad. Toys R Us announced they would be closing several stores to cut operating costs. Tragic news. Mm. It was also announced that Jeffrey the Giraffe was bisexual. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, That's a deep throat. <laughs> yeah, that disappoints some babies in the crowd. Oh, yeah. A Chicago police commander was sentenced to four and a half years in prison for lying about using torture to gain confessions. In Chicago? Yeah, yeah. Court documents show the commander made suspects watch Detroit 187. Oh, oh, unfair. (laughs) Horseshit show. (laughs) Horseshit. And now time for Good News, Bad News! Good News, Bad News! Good News, Bad News! Good News, Bad News! news. The good news, the FBI staged its biggest mafia takedown ever Thursday, oh. rounding up 127 gangsters on racketeering and murder charges. That Oof. is one spicy meatball. That's right. The bad news, the FBI could not indict America's largest crime family, Goldman Sachs. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's been our show for today. Check us out. Oh, woo!